first thing you're going to want to check in your rough draft is that your paper has a main point. For most academic papers, that means you're going to be looking for a thesis statement. If you have written an informative essay, a research paper, an argumentative essay, a compare and contrast paper, or most other kinds of academic assignments, you're going to have a thesis statement. If you've written a narrative, which is just a fancy word for story, your paper still has a point, but it might be said a little less directly. So in that case, you might not have a thesis statement in quite the same way that we're talking about here. For most kinds of academic assignments though, checking your thesis statement is a great first step to making sure that your paper has a point and that it was the point you were trying to make. Let's take a closer look at what it means to have an effective thesis statement. There are two ways to think about the purpose of a thesis statement. You can think about what the thesis statement does for your reader, and you can think about what the thesis statement does for you as the writer. First, it's important because it helps your reader figure out what your paper is about, and most readers want to know what it is they're about to read. In fact, having a strong thesis statement helps your reader decide if your paper is the right one for their goals. They can decide if this is what they want to be reading because they can figure out if it's going to help them learn the thing they need to learn. Part of our job as writers is to provide our readers with a clear sense of purpose, and our thesis statement is one of the ways that we do that. But thesis statements also serve the purpose of helping us as writers. We can use them to make sure that we kept our papers on track and didn't wander off into other topics that we didn't intend to cover. We can also use them to help make sure we actually did what we hoped we would do in our papers. Usually, the thesis statement will be a single sentence. If you write something really long, like a whole book, you might have a thesis statement that takes more than one sentence, but for our purposes, it's usually just one. It also will typically come near the beginning of your paper. In a typical academic essay, it appears somewhere in the introduction paragraph. Finally, your thesis statement should be well-written and confident. You want it to be bold, clear, and a statement of what the rest of the paper does. You want to avoid hedge phrases like, I think that, or it might be said. You want this to be a statement of confidence. A good thesis statement will be clear and concise. That means your reader will have a clear and accurate understanding of your paper's main point once they've read this thesis statement. It will also be easy to find. That means it will be located in a logical place near the beginning of your paper. It will be worthwhile. That means that the purpose of your paper will be something that's worth your reader's time to read and your time to write. It will also be appropriate in scope. That means you won't try to cover too much or too little in your paper. If you're having trouble finding your thesis statement in your draft, or you think that it might not meet all four of these elements, then check out the videos about each one and how to improve your thesis statement for your final draft.